Oh, Imagine no. next to Need for Speed is Need for Speed Heat 2. Imagine. Big time. I would not mind a Heat 2. I think that'd be cool. Just think about like, it Heat track. alone, Maybe unlike Payback, no, like, sure. Heat was actually, like, I'd, I'd cut, like, personally, I'd put Heat in the good Need for Speed category. It has a long list of fucking shortcomings, but, like, Heat's the perfect Need for Speed to build off of. Like, if they were to just build off of it, I think eventually they get their, they make their way up to like a fantastic game. Like it hits a lot of the right notes and when this game does things like well, it does it very well. But obviously at the same time, when it does things poorly, it does them very poorly. Like imagine heat, but like after the game ends, you have an expansive league system where you're going through and beating people and climbing to the top of the league. Or if they like actually made the story a bit longer, you know? Where there's like a list of cops where th that you had to take down, like a bunch of different lackeys before you got to Mercer. Yeah, good physics, good AI, good AI. This game is good AI now. He Unite improves AI tenfold, I'd argue. Cop chases, even at like higher levels, are still like like I'm. I was kind of shaking that final chase. I was shaking. I'm not gonna lie. That's a thing. I that's a thing I didn't have for a while. More event types, yeah. It could have been one of the fucking best. And customization wise, what other fucking like racing games have like the customization Need for Speed has? It is missing quite a few things, but still. If they focus on more like tuner culture, if they like narrow down to like cars you find in tuner culture, like Honda Civics or Integras or like more even more muscle cars, like cult classic cars, I think they could be onto a winner. Obviously, you can add another exotic or two, but I, I th honestly think if they fo narrow down and focus on cars you find at a tuner street meet, and they focus on cars like Dodge Char, adding in Dodge Chargers, Hellcats, Challengers, even like Durangos and fucking um, Trackhawks, you see those a lot at fucking car meets. 300 Cs, um, think of just all the Mopar cars, adding in R31 uh, Skyline. Lincoln Navigators, lifted pickup trucks, like Rams and shit, like that should be cool. Cause you see those at street meets too. Or like having like a whole series like dedicated to just like SUVs and stuff. Like a whole like in-game like, in like race mode dedicated to that, like underground too. Toyota, I don't know. Like I would love to see the, all the, su the new Supra, the old Supra obviously, the 2JZ Supra. Um, but Toyota, that's more so on Toyota, I think. But even if Toyota, even if they do have the Toyota license for the next game, I don't think they're probably going to go all out, unfortunately. There's a lot that they're missing. But yet, but yet we have cars like the fucking, um, the, like, and I'm not dogging on these cars because they are cool cars as well. But you have like the Chevy Colorado, the um, Aston Martin car. And this is going to sound a little cringe, but adding in a little bit of like an RP feature, like a role play feature. Like being able to just like create a car and just have car meets and have like car cruises. People do that. Like I'll find streams and videos of people just role playing in Need for Speed that they're like having like they set up like they'll have two people set up for like a drag race and they'll have people like like at the start for like flagging and have people at the end and have like cars lined up along the route. Like that shit's rad. Like like having like drag meets where you can have like people take turns doing drag races, have like a little tier system, have like your own mini championships or drag races or like drift meets, or just like car meets you where you can section off parking lots or like dedicated parking lots where you can literally get out and walk around and see people's cars. We have we have custom characters in Need for Speed now. Why not give us the ability to just walk around and like check other people's cars? Maybe even take them for test drives. You know. Off-roading, um, I don't think the, like, if you have a race or two that have, like, an off-road portion, or, like, there's shortcuts that are off-road, I think that's fine, but other than that, the, why bother putting, like, Need for Speed's not about off-roading, you know, like, they shouldn't focus on it, personally. One thing I kind of wish the crew did more was Rally Raid, like, having Rally Raid races and stuff, it was really cool, I, I, the crew one had a fan when it had when they did the raid stuff it's like it was like a callback to smugglers run that was really cool but you're delivering packages drugs across like the country off road that Quack. was mad and like, outrunning the Go cops on. that was mad cool um and that's something unique that the crew did but like need for speed need for speed is it doesn't matter if it's inner city or like in the fucking countryside 
it's street racing, illegal street racing with his with racing people with the cops in hot pursuit, you know, with like extensive car customization, either a day or night, you know, that's need for speed. That's core need for speed. Um, deviating too much from that, I don't think is a good idea, personally. Like adding in off-roading or like that shit. Like, I don't think that, yeah, I don't think that's rad. I don't think that's on. Yeah, imagine, like, I like the system of having both the uh, day and night. I like that feature. I think that's pretty cool. Like having day races and nighttime. They, they did improve the size of the city for heat. Paybacks was fucking empty. Like there were no races in the city. And there's also like the city was really small. I honestly think with the next Need for Speed game, the majority of the map needs to be city. Majority of the map needs to be city. Obviously on the outskirts, you can have like long roads or like mountain roads and stuff. Obviously you have like the mountains, but like at the same time, I think the majority of this map needs to be city. Or suburbs or something. Because, like, with Heat's map, and this is something, because I play a lot of city skylines. I'm really into, like, urban planning. So this kind of bothers me. The city just kind of ends. Like, this is all downtown. And then it's just, like, fields. I get it's a racing game. It's not, like, a city planning map. But, like, still, that just bothers me. Um, and also, there's no highway. Like, you have this highway, but it's not, like, a highway with on-ramps and off-ramps. It's just, like, intersections. So having maybe like a city in the middle and then having like a beltway. Payback had this. Payback had like a beltway system, but it was never used. It was used for like one race. I don't know. When I'm playing a racing game about like extensive car customization or tuner culture, I would rather race in a city. Obviously having races outside the city, that's all fine and dandy. But I feel like, again, they're trying to cater to too much, uh, too, ma too many people because a lot of this map is countryside i feel like if another if they doubled the size of the city have it expand out here i think that would have been a better that would have been better if need for speed 2022 include a speedrunner showdown like championship and their forms of the story it needs to feel more proper like yeah because there's no like ending the, the, like there's no like championship or anything in like need for speed in like the showcase it was it was weird i'm actually good Go, I'm, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna quick grab some food because I am starving. <laughs> nope, nope.